Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharon and Yahuda grafted in Gentiles into the body of the Mashiach. Listen, we're listening to none other than Hezekiah. The song is entitled Blood of the King. I don't own the rights to this music. It is by the blood of the king and the priest. After the order of Melchizedek, are we established? Yeah. It is by the blood of the king, right? Of which the scepter shall not depart from, or a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh. Right? Listen, 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 listen. It is Yahusha the king whose blood is after the order of Melchizedek, which he as a high priest went into the Shamaim to offer up. Listen, that's the only way we receive Yeshua. That's the only way we return. That's the only way we're being gathered. All of this other stuff that you're hearing, listen, it ain't going to get you into his kingdom. It's the blood of Yahusha Hamashiach who is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek that is going into the Shamaim with his blood, right? And he's given us the Ruach HaKadosh, which establishes us in his kingdom. Listen, bro. It's the blood of the king. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I thank you. I pray that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. I pray that you would not allow anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up short, stumble, anyone to come up lame or fall by the words which I speak you who I pray in the name of you Shamashiach that you would completely govern, control everything that comes out of my mouth in the name of you Shamashiach. I pray. Yahuwah, I trust in your Ruach HaKadosh. I trust in the words that you gave Yahushua, that he gave to Yahukanan, that he recorded, that I was to keep until I was read with Ibunan received. I give you praise, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, and Ibunan for this word, this Messiah, this Torah of truth. I give you praise. Yahuwah, I thank you for the blood of the king. I thank you for the blood of the king. The blood of the king. Yeshua. Yahusha, I give you praise, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, you who will be acceptable in thy sight. My strength and my redeemer. Listen, it's the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach. He is the king. He's that king after the order of Melchizedek. He is that king. Melchizedek came and greeted Abraham after the, after the war of the kings. And he blessed him with wine and bread blessed him with wine and bread and what he did was covenanted with Avraham. Yahusha is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek who had no beginning, who had no end, who had no descendancy. Yahusha Hamashiach is the only thing that's going to establish you in your return to Yahuwah and bring you into the presence of Yahuwah in the Ruach HaKadosh, in Yahuwah Yahusha, tabernacling in you because you are the temple of the of the Ruach HaKadosh. You are that place that Yahuwah has visited. Listen, man of Yah, woman of Yah, you have to understand. You have to understand that this witness is real. You have to understand this witness is real. You have to understand that this witness is real. You have to understand that this witness is real. You have to understand that this witness is real. You have to understand that you have to receive the witness. You have to. It is not negotiable. It is not negotiable, Hebrew. It is not negotiable. You have to come through Yahushua Hamashiach. It is non-negotiable. Though those priests were flawed. Aaron's priesthood was flawed. It kept the consciousness of sin. They were destined to be doomed only because there was no way that they could keep it like they should. The people of Yahuwah, the people of Yahuwah are like the priest, like priests, like people. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, listen, you, 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 you got to get a clue. You got to get a clue, and Yahuwah has me in Hebrews with the hopes of you getting a clue, right? And listen, it's going to take Emunah, right? It's going to take Emunah. You got to release your Emunah in this Basora. 
much like the same way you had to release your emu na in the original covenant. You have to release your emu na in what Yahusha has said, which is the fulfillment of what the prophets have said. It is who Yahuwah is speaking to, not speaking through now. You got to receive this witness, man. You got to receive this witness, witness, woman of Yahuwah, man of Yahuwah. You got to walk in this witness. You got to cling to this witness. You got to cleave to this witness. You can't let this escape you. Can't let it escape you. You can't let this witness escape you. It takes Emu Na. You have to have Emu Na. You have to have Emu Na. The disciples had Emu Na. Right? They stayed with Yahushua, but they had Emu Na because they seen what he did. They watched it. They observed Yahushua's work. They observed what Yahushua did. They observed what Yahushua said. They listened to it. They heard it. They watched it. The miracles, the signs, the wonders, right? Right? They they, they believed Yahuwah, right? But they believed it because they saw it, right? They eventually established Imuna because it took Imuna for them to 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 continue to move forward in the witness. Listen, man of Yah, woman of Yah, the witness, the witness, the witness, the witness, the witness, the witness, the witness of Yahuwah is everything. We're in Hebrews. And Paul's dealing with his brethren, the Hebrews. Much like me, trying to deal with you, the brethren, to establish you in this witness that was given to your forefathers, right? Hebrews 1 and 1. Alua at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Haveth in these last days spoken unto us by Yahushua Hamashiach, his son, whom he has appointed heirs. Heir, he's the heir over all things by whom he made the world. Yahushua is the heir over all things. He is the word made flesh. Yahuwah spoke Torah. Torah came to pass. He is the word made flesh. He is Yahuwah's spoken word made flesh. Yahushua, right? Listen. Yahuwah spoke to the prophets, unto our fathers, his word. Yahuwah is now speaking through his son, the same words. But he's declaring that Yeshua has to come through Yahushua. You can't just turn to me. You have to turn to me through Yahushua. You can't turn to me through those priests that you once had because that priesthood has faded away. That priesthood has decayed. But now you have to turn and be restored under the high priest at the order of Melchizedek, whom Yahuwah is speaking through in these last days, whom Yahuwah has appointed heir over all things. Yahushua. Yahushua is heir over all things. Listen, listen. Yahushua is the brightness of his image, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. Yahushua. The expressed image of Yahuwah, right? And upholding all things by the word, the Torah, of his power, the Ruach HaGadosh. Yahushua is upholding everything, being the word, carried out by the Ruach HaGadosh of his power, his authority. He's the son of Elu. When he had himself when for power, when he had by himself purged our sins, Yahushua sat down on the right hand of the majesty and the high. Yahushua did. The same is what Yahuwah said concerning him in Psalms 110. He said by Dawid, Yahuwah said unto my Yahushua, Sit down on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Listen, bro. You got to get a clue. You got to get a clue. You got to get this. You got to get this. 
Hebrews 2. Therefore, we are to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest we, not, unless we let them slip. Listen, us who have received this witness, who have received the Ruach HaKadosh, who have tasted of the goodness of Yahuwah, the power of the world to come. Listen, we have to give heed. We got to take this word and we got to run with it. We got to be the witnesses of Yahuwah and Yahushua in this day, in this age. We have to be that elect righteousness selected from an everlasting plan of righteousness. That's who we are. And we have to be, we have to be sure in this. We have to be steadfast in this. He said, listen, listen. He said, wherefore, we ought to give the most earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip, right? For the word which was spoken, for the word spoken by angels was steadfast, right? Steadfast. And every transgression, disobedience received justice. You don't get justice. Every transgression, every disobedience, it requires justice. Listen, Hebrew, just because you turn back to Yahuwah, right? You still have to have justice. There has to be, there has to be a recompense. Something has to satisfy your sin. There's something that has to be paid on behalf of your sin. You can't just turn to Yahuwah Alua and say, Yahuwah, I'm turning to you and I'm turning back to the laws. No, you got to go through the high priest. He has to offer up sacrifices for himself and for you. And then he has to do that once and for all. He has to do that once a year in the holies of holies. And listen, listen, it's perpetual under that priesthood, right? But the priesthood has been vanished away. The, the priesthood has vanished away. How are you going to do this? How are you going to be established? Yahuwah has to have justice. There has to be blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. You got to have a blood sacrifice in order to be cleansed from your sin. You just can't turn to Yahuwah and say, I'm turning to Yahuwah. I'm turning to, to the Tanakh. I'm turning to the Torah. I'm turning to Yah. Oh, you can't do that. You got to you got to follow the process. You got to come to the high priest. You got to come to the high priest with an offering. And that high priest has to be in a position to receive that offering. He has to have offered up an offering for his own sins. And then he can offer up sins for you. But where are you going to get that? There's recompense. There's a reward coming for that disobedience. You can't just turn to Yahushua. You can't just turn to you. You can't just say, I'm woke now. Yeah, we awaken. We, we woke now. And say that you satisfied Yahuwah by just waking up. Yeah, you know that you were people. But the the, the, the idea was just to wake you up and have you turn to Yahushua Hamashi, out the high priest. Who offered up a sacrifice on your behalf once and for all, but you won't receive it. Yeah, some of you won't even receive the sacrifice. You want to deny the sacrifice. You want to be just like your father's. You want, you want a priesthood that was flawed. You want Hophnius and Phineas. You want Eli. You want Samuel's sons. You want the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You want the Sanhedrin. You, you want them dogs that don't bark. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a Yeshua? You ain't gonna get away, bro. You ain't gonna get away. You ain't gonna get away. You ain't gonna get away. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a Yeshua, which was first began to be spoken by Adonai Yahushua and was confirmed unto us by, by them that heard it? He left a, he left us a record. Hebrews is a record. The, the, the book of Hebrews is a record for us so that we could be established in him. Acts is a record that he has left that we could be established as him. See, because uh, the prophets are still speaking. The apostles are still speaking, right? They had to give us a word in order to establish us in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. It had to be recorded. 
Listen, there would be no righteous selected from an everlasting plan of righteousness unless someone had received the witness that was recorded by you, Canaan. Unless somebody had received the witness that was recorded by Metanyahu, that was recorded by Luke, that was recorded by Mark. No one, unless it was recorded by the apostles. This witness was necessary. Chapter 3. Wherefore, holy brothers, partakers of the heavenly carter, consider you the high priest of your profession. Who should master? See, now listen, now listen, now listen. See, you know, now, now Paul, Shaul goes right into the understanding of the restoration requires a high priest. The restoration of a nation requires a priest. The nation of Yashara, in order to turn, they had to have a high priest. And he had to take water and blood from a, a sacrificial lamb that was without spot or blemish and sprinkle it on you. Listen, he had to sprinkle you with it. How you going to turn without a high priest? You got to consider Yahushua. You have to consider Yahushua Hamashiach, that high priest. You have to consider Yahushua Hamashiach. He was a faithful over him who appointed him as Moshe was faithful in all his house. Moshe was faithful in all his house. Yahushua, how, who was faithful to him who appointed him? Who appointed Yahushua? None other than the Father appointed Yahushua. He has declared and will not repent. He has sworn that you are a priest forever, a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. My high priest that I sent unto Avram after the battle of kings, which presented him the blessing of wine and bread. He covenanted with them. Listen, you got to receive this priesthood. You can't turn to Hamashi, you can't turn to Yehud without a priest. You got to consider Yehusha. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moshe. Moshe was the house, Yehusha built the house. Moshe was Levi, Yehusha was Melchizedek. <laughs> he was the builder of the house. Listen, man, this is, this is Ruako. You got to receive this witness. Hallelujah. Listen, who was faithful to him who appointed him? Yahuwah was faithful unto him who appointed him. He said, he said in Psalms 110 and 4, Yahuwah has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. <laughs> Melchizedek was the high priest of Yahuwah. You are a priest forever. After the, after the order of Melchizedek. That's why he says here, he says, consider the high priest of our profession. Yehusha Hamashiach. Yehusha Hamashiach has established us in the kingdom of Yahuwah. He has restored us to the relationship that was established through the blood and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, 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 through the sacrifice and the blood being sprinkled upon the altar and the Shamaim, consider you the high priest. No, you want to you want to hold on to the house, <laughs> the house that was flawed, the house that was done away with. That listen, listen. You want to hold on. You want to hold on. You want to hold on. What is that? What is that? What is that? You want to hold on. You want to hold on to, to the, you want to hold on to this, you want to hold on to this, right? You want to hold on to this. He says to Eli the prophet, right? Because Eli had to rebuke his sons for their wickedness, right? Eli was very old, right? Priest. And heard all that his sons had done unto all Yasharal, Right? And how they laid with the women that assembled at the door of the temple of the congregation. Listen. The priests were flawed. They had a consciousness of sin. Aaron was flawed. 
he made a calf before he was ever a high priest. His consciousness was never changed. His consciousness was never changed. He just had to continue to ceremonially wash. His, 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 he had to wash and keep himself covered because his consciousness hadn't changed. Listen, Eli's consciousness was not changed, right? Eli's consciousness was not changed. Yahuwah, Yahuwah had to confront Eli, right? It says in the 30th verse, Wherefore Yahuwah, Elua of Israel, said unto thee that... Wait, 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 no, no, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. And there came a man of Elua unto Eli and said unto him, Thus saith Yahuwah, Did I plainly appear unto your house, right? of thy fathers, the tribes, the nation of Levi, right? When they were in Egypt, in Pharaoh's house. He says, did I not chose, did I not choose him out of all the tribes, Levi, of Yasharal to be my priest, to offer upon my altars, to burn incense and to wear the ephod before me. And did I give unto the house of thy fathers, Levi, all the offerings made by fire of the children of Yasharal? Listen, why? Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice? Why are you doing such wickedness to my sacrifice? And at mine offering, which I have commanded my inhabitation, why are you doing this in my tabernacle? Why are you allowing your sons to do this in my tabernacle, Eli? Because you're wicked, you're flawed. The priesthood is flawed. This, that's why you got to consider you Shemashiach. He was better than the house of Levi. He was better than the house of Levi. Yahuwah knew that he selected Levi, but he that's why he gave him all them ceremonial washings so that the people could at least have an semblance of being able to return. He says, and honor thy sons above me. You allow these wicked priests, your sons, to, to have sexual relationships in my tabernacle. What? The priest. Listen, they, they, listen, 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 listen. Y'all better get a clue. You better get a clue. You better get a clue. They doing this in the camps. You better get a clue. They doing it in the camps. They doing it in the, in the assemblies. Right? Because if they have not received the witness of Yehusha Mashiach, they ain't got nothing that's going to keep them. They going to do it. You got the Ruach condition. You ain't going to do it. You ain't going to do it. You ain't got the capacity to do it. You can't keep Torah. And, and, and you, can't even, you can't even move into the restoration process. So you still in your sins. You, you, you still in your sins. You still in your sins. Hebrew, you need to get a bruise clue. You and your sins. It's like your father's kicking, taking, and your sons above me, and make yourselves fat. You make yourselves fat. You make yourself fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Yasharal, my people. Right? Wherefore Yahuwah, Elua of Israel, saith indeed, said indeed that thy house, right, Levi, and the house of thy fathers, no, thy house, El, uh, 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 Eli, right, and the house of thy father, right, Levi, Eli and Levi, both houses, right, should walk before me forever. But now... Alua or Yahuwah says, Be it far from me, for them that honoreth me I will honor, and they that despise me 
me shall shall be lightly esteemed, right? For behold, the day cometh, and I will cut off thine authority, thine arm, and the authority of thy fathers, the Levitical priesthood of the house, and there shall not be an old man in the house, right? And the men of thine whom I shall I shall not cut off from mine altars shall be consumed thine eyes. Listen, 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 listen. And the men of thine whom I shall not cut off from mine altar shall be consumed, shall be to consume thine eyes and to grieve thine heart. That's Eli. That's how this is finished. And all the increase of thine house shall die in the flower of their age. That's Hophnius and Phineas. He's talking about what he's going to do to Hophnius and Phineas. That's why when, 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 when they went out with the Ark of the Covenant to battle against the Philistines, and you who have never told them because they were wicked anyway, they was wicked, taking the Ark of the Covenant to battle with the, the nation against the Philistines, right? They was wicked, right? Yahuwah killed them. They killed them because the Philistines killed them and took the ark, right? Killed the priests that were there. Killed them, right? Killed them. That's what Yahuwah was saying. He says, and the man of thine, whom I shall not cut off from my altar, shall be to consume thine eyes and to grieve thine heart. Half the Athenians, that's what they did, Right? And all the increase of thine house shall die. Listen, your sons will die. Listen, everything that represented you in this Levitical priesthood, Levi, is going to pass away. Right? And the flower of their age, their youth, priest. Right? And this shall be a sign unto thee that, that shall come... Uh, upon thy two sons, on Hophnius and Phineas, in, in one day, they shall die, both of them. He already received the word from Yahuwah that this is going to happen, right? Right? It was both of them. And I will rise me up a faithful priest, Samuel. Right? Samuel was that faithful priest. But Yahushua Hamashiach is that faithful priest. I will rise me up a faithful priest that shall do according to all which is in mine heart and in my mind. That's Yahushua. See, because Eli had sons and his sons were still wicked. They were priests. Samuel had sons, and his sons were wicked. They were priests. He's talking about Yahushua. And I will build him a sure house, Yahushua. And he shall walk before mine anointed forever. That's Yahushua. That's Yahushua Mashiach. That's Yahushua Hamashiach. That's Yahushua Hamashiach. That's Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, that's prophetic. I will raise me up a faithful priest. Psalms 110 and 4. And you who will have sworn and will not repent, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Who is he speaking of? He was speaking of Yahuwah said unto Yahushua, sit thou on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Listen. Listen. He says, I will raise me up a faithful priest. Yahushua is that priest. We are to consider this priest. This priest that has replaced the Aaron Levitical priesthood. He says, I will raise me up a faithful priest that shall do according to that which is in mine heart. He going to do what's in my heart, right? And according to my mind, right? Because he's going to be the word made flesh, right? And I will build him a sure house. 
he is establishing the he is he is to establish the the house of the dominion forever. Oh yeah, listen, Enoch says it. Subsequently, in the fourth week during its completion in that ninety third chapter, the vision of the holy and the righteous shall be seen, and the order of the generations at generation after generation of the inhabitation shall be made for them. Then in the fifth week, during its completion, the house of glory and of dominion shall be erected forever. Listen, he says, and I will build him a sure house. Yahuwah. Yahushua. He will establish him a kingdom, a dwelling place. And he shall walk before mine anointed forever. He gonna walk before us, his anointed. Because everybody who's in this righteousness are selected from the everlasting plan of righteousness. Listen, listen, listen. Then verse 36, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of thine house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi is going to have to come through Melchizedek because everything that they had once had, right, is no longer. Because the priesthood has been amended. Yahushua has amended the priesthood. Yeah, you're going to have to come to Yahushua. Come to, you shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread. And shall say, put me, I pray thee, into one of thy priest's offices that I might eat a piece of bread. Listen, the, the priesthood, priesthood ceased. And Eli, when he learned that his sons had died, he didn't mourn, he didn't, he didn't respond. But when he learned that the Ark of the Covenant was taken, he fell back. With his fat self and broke his neck. Yahuwah's priesthood must be honored. Bro, you gotta consider Yusha Mashiach. You gotta consider. He said, Let us therefore fear, chapter Hebrews 4, chapter Hebrews 4, chapter. Chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore fear lest a promise, a promise, a promise being left unto us. The promise of being left unto us of entering into Shiloh, right? Any of you should seem to come short of it, right? We got to, we got to walk in the Ruach of fear. We have to reverence this which Yahuwah has established in us by the witness and the Ruach HaKadosh. We cannot take this lightly. We have to, we have to guard this. We have to guard this, this witness that, that declares that Yahushua HaMashiach is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek that we can, we have to turn to. For unto us this Besorah was preached as well unto them, but the word preached did not profit them because it was not mixed with Emunah. That's the same Emunah that our forefathers had to have when they went to the high priest with that lamb to 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 satisfy their sin in faith it's the same faith that we have to have in coming to Yahushua Hamashiach who is the lamb of Yahuwah that taketh away the sins of the earth we have to receive that witness in Emunah and then allow that witness to establish us and receive his Ruach HaKadosh so that we could move forward in this Ruachal 
ruach of truth and understand what Yahuwah has called us to. Listen, this ain't rocket science. It's ruach. It's, it's ruach. It's ruach. For, for we which have believed do enter into his rest. I'm in rest because I believe the witness. Right? As he have said. Now, the rest is Shiloh. The rest is the kingdom. The rest is to where we're going to be gathered. The rest is where we're going to be. The rest is Wakanda. <laughs> you are doing it Wakanda, but you know, you know how people, you know, they pictures, illustrations. That's where we're going to be gathered. We're going to be gathered to Shiloh. Enemies just can't come into our into our land. Listen, ain't nobody just gonna come into our lands. We gonna rule the world, Yehusha Hamashiach, as kings and priests. For we which do which we for we which have believed do enter into his rest. Yeah, we we entered into his rest as he has says, as I have sworn in my wrath. If they shall enter to my rest, although the works were, were finished from the foundations of the earth, right? He will speak into a certain place and certain, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, right? And Elua did rest the seventh day from all his works. Listen, listen, Shiloh is Shabbat. Shiloh is the Shabbat. It is the rest. Shiloh is the rest. Shiloh is the reign of Yahushua HaMashiach. Shiloh is being established in the kingdom of Yahuwah. Shiloh is what we look for. That's what we're in. Right, right? Yahushua's priesthood was perfect. Yahushua's priesthood is perfect. Yahushua's priesthood is perfect. It's better than Aaron's priesthood, right? Chapter 5, verse 1. For every priest is taken from among men, is ordained for men as things pertaining to Elua, that he may both offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. Listen, we understand that, that the high priest offers sacrifices for sins. We understand that. Yahuwah, through Moshe, selected Levi as the priestly people. They were the ones that were to conduct the service. He says the same thing to Samuel. Right? That was what you were supposed to do. Right? He said that to his own sons. He said that in and, uh, and Samuel. Right? He says in Samuel, I think Samuel the third chapter. Right? Where... Uh, What's this? This is a. Uh, um, where is it at? Eli. Okay. No, no. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Maybe it's back in two. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, uh, oh, Eli's son. Here we go. Now, Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Yasharal and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he said unto them, Why do ye such things? For I hear of your evil dealings with all the people, by all the people. I hear about your evil doings by all this people, Yisrael, right? Nay, my sons, it, for it is no good report that I hear. Ye make Yahuwah's people to transgress, priest. Make the people to transgress. 
And if a man sins against another and judges shall judge him. But if a man sinneth against the Lord, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto the voice of their father because Yahuwah would slay them. Listen, listen, listen. That's why, that's why Hebrews, he says, who have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way. That's what they were supposed to do, but not Eli and not, not Eli's sons, not Hophnius and Phineas, not Samuel's sons, right? The Levitical priesthood was flawed. They weren't doing that. They weren't. They weren't taking care of the people. They weren't having compassion. They were. They were encompassed with infirmities. Excuse me. And their infirmities manifested. Oh yeah, yeah. They was having sex with the women in the temple, in the tabernacle. They were supposed to. They were supposed to represent a lure with the people, right? But see, Yahusha is the perfect high priest because Yahusha had never sinned. Yahusha had no consciousness of sin, right? He was he was born without sin, right? He was the seed of he was the seed and the egg of Yahuwah in the womb of Mary, and her blood never came into contact with him. She birthed him. Right, because sin would could could not be passed on to Yahushua. So Yahushua was a man of the man like unto his brethren, right? But yet without sin. Yeah, he had no consciousness of sin. Yahushua. He was the perfect high priest. He was the priest that Yahuwah chose after the order of Melchizedek. Six. You have to recognize that you be have to be established in this witness. You got to live up to the promise. You can't be slothful. You can't be lazy. You can't be lazy. You can't be lazy. He says here, he says, listen, listen. For Lua is not unrighteous to forget your works and your labors of love which ye have shown towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister, right? And we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, to the end, to the end, to the end, to the end, enduring unto the end, right? That ye be not slothful, but followers of them that through faith and patience inherit the promise. Follow me. I have inherited the promise. Through faith and patience. Follow the Bosor and the Torah that comes forth from me. Right? Not follow me, but follow me as I follow Yahushua HaMashiach. Listen and receive this Bosor and this Torah, this word, because this word is going to give you life. He said, listen, be not slothful, but follow them through Follower, uh, followers of them through faith and patience inherit the promise. Followers of them. Who? Me. Who demonstrate faith and patience and who have inherited the promise. Listen. I'm persuaded of you better, Bruce. You have received this witness. You got to recognize the Melchizedek priesthood order. That's you who's I said it once and I say it again. He's a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And all I'm doing is saying what Yahuwah said concerning him. What David said that Yahuwah said concerning Yahushua. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying what the word says. He is that high priest. I'm just declaring what the word declares. And Yahuwah has, caught up, has cut off the Mel, Melchizedek. I don't know. Yahushua has cut off the Levitical priesthood. He has cut off Aaron's priesthood. He has caused it to decay and he has caused it to fade away. Right? It's a wrap. It's gone. It's done. You can't turn to it. You have to consider Yahushua Mashiach.
the high priest. Because that's all you got. That's all you got, bro. That's all you got. See, and that's the trick. That's the trick. Hasatan wants you to think that the 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 the, the renewed covenant is 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 somehow a flawed, right? Because if he can keep you in that mindset, right, then what you do is you you seal yourself to destruction, right? Because there's no way that you can turn. In the original covenant, there's no way you can turn without an established priesthood. There's no way, listen, listen, Yahuwah ain't going to gather nobody that has not received the witness. He's not gathering no one that has not received his Ruach HaKadosh. So there's no way for you to return. You got, to, you have to be established in this witness. That's why you have to understand that you have to consider you Shemashiach, the high priest of your profession. You have to consider that because there is no other high priest to see. And if he can get you to denounce the renewed covenant, right? And the renewed covenant is only the renewal of the priest order, the priesthood. The Torah ain't changed. Yahuwah amended the priesthood because it was flawed. It couldn't get the job done. And he knew it was because he had already he had already sworn that Yahushua was a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. He's already sworn it. He's already declared it. Listen. You gotta you, you, you gotta receive this this renewed covenant. You you got you got you gotta you gotta, you gotta receive the, the New Testament. You have to. I mean it's <laughs> you gotta receive got to receive the new testament. <laughs> there's no way to turn, bro. There's no, there's no way to turn. Tell me how you going to turn to you without a high priest. How? How you going to turn to you without a high priest? How you gonna turn with you without a high priest and without a sacrifice? For without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remittance of sin. How? How you gonna avoid a sacrifice? How you gonna avoid a high priest to offer the sacrifice? How you gonna get around him taking it to the holies of holies? How you gonna get around the tabernacle? How? You can't pitch it. Yahuwah gave instructions on how it was to be pitched. But even that tabernacle, Yahushua said, won't be one stone left unturned. Listen, there was no more tabernacles. There was no more tabernacles. There was no more to be pitched. None. You can't pitch it. It's the Melchizedek Priesthood. Chapter 8. Now this is the sum of everything. We have such a high priest that is set into the right hand of the majesty of the throne of Hanan. And he's in a sanctuary. In a tabernacle. So... Paul's tell you to turn to the high priest who is established by you as Yudah Melchizedek. He's telling you to have confidence in the fact that this high priest has, has established a tabernacle in the Shammai, right? A, a permanent, established from the foundations of the earth tabernacle because Moshe's was made in its pattern. Right, it was a shadow, right? But Yahushua's, because you know, you know from Moshe that the tabernacle was a pattern of the original tabernacle in the Shamaim. Yahuwah told, Yahushua told 
Moshe to make it after this pattern. It was to be a shadow of the original. Right? And the Shamaim. Right? Now, you can't construct that. You, you can't, you can't, you can't construct it. No matter how hard you try. And even if you construct it, you don't have the Ark of the Covenant to put into the Holies of Holies. You don't have Aaron's rod that was budded. You don't have the manna that's in the Ark. You don't have the showbread. You don't have none of that. How are you going to do it? That's why you got to consider Yushimashiach. He was a high priest after you go to Melchizedek. He has a tabernacle to enter into in the Shamayim. He has a tabernacle that he can enter into on your behalf in the Shamayim. And actually, he's already done it. All you got to do is receive it in Imunah. And then receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. And walk in his truth and declare his witness. And free your brothers that are trapped in that... That Yah only Tanakh and Torah only doctrine. Tell me, you got you got to have high priest, and 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 he is he is passed into the the heavens, into the tabernacle that was not made by hands. He said, "Listen, for if he were on earth." He should not be a priest seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. That's Hebrews 8 and 4, right? Right? Who served unto the example, right? And shadow, right, of the heavenly. They just serve shadows. They just serve the shadows. Of heavenly things. As Moshe was admonished of Alua when he was about to make the tabernacle, for see, saith he, to make thou all things according to the pattern shew to thee in the mountain. Pattern, shadow. How you gonna turn? Because the shadow is gone, it's faded away. Yahushua, Yahuwah ain't shining on that no more. He's shining on Yahushua Hamashiach. And Yahushua Hamashiach is that, that priest. Better consider Yahushua Hamashiach. Moshe was given instructions how to produce a shadow. It was not the very image of that thing. It was made in the likeness. And I can even imagine the scale of it was so much smaller. <laughs> Come on, listen. Chapter 9. The first sanctuary had services. They could not make those who performed them have a clear consciousness of sin. Therefore, it was flawed. It was just shadow. And it was not until the Ruach HaKadosh came that Yahu establishes dominion in the earth. That the Melchizedek priesthood could do the order of service in the Shamayim and cause Yahu not to be angry with us anymore. Listen, Hebrews 9. You better you better look at this. You better look at this, bro. You better look at this. That was shadows. The mercy seat was a shadow. 
the gold and the, the ark and all of that was shadows. Shadows. All of the services were shadows. He says, verse 9, right? Which was a figure for a time. It's just for a time. Then present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service, priest, high priest, priest, as pertaining, make them perfect, as pertaining to the conscious. You better consider you Shamashiank. You better consider you Shamashiank. You better get a bruise clue. You better get a bruise clue. He said, which stood only in meat and drink and divers, washing and carnal ordinances. They were carnal. They weren't necessary in the, in the tabernacle in the Shammai. They were not necessary in the temple in the Shammai. They were carnal. They were for you, priests, who were flawed, that decayed and faded away. Right, and it was until the time of reformation, the time of the reform of the Levitical priesthood, the time of the shift of the the order of the priesthood from Levi to Yahuda. <laughs> uh, Yahuda, yeah, kings and priests who have received the witness after the order of Melchizedek. That's why you was going to return Yahuda first. That's why he's going to gather us who have received the witness first. Because we're a king, we're a tribe of kings and priests. We are the ones that are going to establish the land. The Reformation was the Melchizedek priesthood, right? For Hamashiach being become a high priest of good things to come by a greater, more perfect tabernacle in the Shamaim, not made with hands. See, this is why Hasatan wants to keep you out of the renewed covenant. This is why he wants to keep you out of the New Testament, right? See, Yahushua knew that it was going to become darkened. Yahushua said, I must work the work of him that sent me while it's day because dark night comes and no man can work in this darkness. Shaul knew that the priesthood was yet fading away, right? We know that the age that was to come was called the Dark Ages. Shout out to my aunt who brought that up to me in the uh, um, um, Zoom, Shabbat Zoom we had this Sunday, right? Because, you know, it was a connection that was like, yes, Yahweh, right? The Dark Ages, right? My aunt. Yaakov ben Zion Gaol. Dark Ages. Hasatan was going to take this Torah and this Basura and distort it and profane it and take it over all the earth. Right? 
and he was going to cast such a negative stigma upon it where you know we gonna be bruised and we gonna say nah that ain't that ain't that that ain't a part of you who was word right that's what he did but Yahushua knew that this recorded word was essential. Yahuwah knew it had to be written and recorded just like he did in the original covenant. He knew that he had to establish an understanding of what took place and how we would be restored and returned to him through Yahushua Mashiach. That's why you got to come through his son. He says, listen, you, ain't, you can't turn to me. Because you ain't got a high priest to do it. You can come through Yusha Mashiach to me, but you can't come to me because you got to come through a priest. Hebrews 9 and 11, he says, But Hamashiach being come a high priest of good things to come, right? By a, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Yahushua was a better priest. He offered better sacrifices. He 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 had he had the original tabernacle. And it wasn't made by man's hands. It was made by the word of you. That is to say, not of this building. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered and once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption. Bro, you have to receive this new testament, this new covenant, by this new testor, Yahushua Mashiach. Yeah, Yahushua never said don't keep the commandments. Yahushua said I keep my commandments as I kept the Father's commandments. I kept the Father's commandments, so you keep my commandments. What you've heard me tell you to do, you keep it. What you've heard the Father do, keep it. Because I kept his commandments. Bruce, Bruce, you got to get a clue, Bruce. Got to get a Bruce clue. Got to get a Bruce clue. But Hamashiach being come a high priest of good things to come. Because the blood of goats and calves couldn't get it done. Yahushua did it on his own. No, Yahushua, who was raised by the power of Yahuwah, his father, right? Established this return through his blood. He said, for the blood of bulls and of goats and of ashes and of heifers sprinkled the unclean sanctified the puring of the flesh of the flesh purification of the flesh because that's all it did was it purified the flesh it didn't do anything for the consciousness of sin right but Yahushua he takes away the consciousness of sin the sprinkling of the blood just purified the flesh but the high priest had to sprinkle it on the vessels. He had to sprinkle it on the people. He had to sprinkle it on himself. Because it just covered his sin. Without the sprinkling, Aaron would have been Aaron with the calf. It would have been the same Aaron. Uh, see, the ceremonies in and of themselves, though they were carnal ordinances, kept them in remembrance of the need to keep themselves in a particular place in Yahuwah. And the moment that they didn't, they died. Right? It paid them to do and to obey Yahuwah. Because if they didn't, they died in the service of Yahuwah. That's why, you know me, I know that having received the witness of Yahushua and Mashiach, even though this is a renewed covenant, if I go back, 
turn away from everything that I've had, the taste of, that I've tasted of, this good word, the power of the world to come, and go back. Like I'm, I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. That's why I can't do it. I love you who are too much. I love you who should too much. But I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Won't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it, man of y'all. Woman of y'all can't do it. You can't do it either. Hebrews 10. For, for the law having a shadow of things to come. Now, there was things in the law that were a shadow. The law wasn't a shadow, right? The Torah was what it is. It was a righteous word of Yahuwah. The Torah is never a shadow. The Torah is always true. But there was ordinances and things that were carnal that were put in the Torah that were a shadow. They weren't, they weren't, they weren't going to remain in their permanent state. They weren't there to be permanent, right? Because Yahuwah had to remove the consciousness of sin in order to establish a people. In order to establish a people for his kingdom, in order to be gathered, in order to be used for him in his kingdom, in order to receive the promise eternal life, you have to receive the witness of Yushmashiach. You have to be established in the Ruach HaKadosh in order to, to be a part of his kingdom. And in this, in this shadow... That, that was written in in the ordinances that were carnal, that were for the washing and that was just there to cover you, could never eliminate the consciousness of sin. You had to have your consciousness of sin removed. Listen, I'm free from the consciousness of sin. Yeah. There's nothing in me to have a desire to sin. I don't sin out of a desire to sin. No, 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 no. I don't do anything out of a desire, willful desire of sin. No, that consciousness is gone. That's gone. See, but it, it was in Aaron. Oh, yeah, it was in Aaron. Aaron was literally dead in his trespasses and sins. He was. I mean, they covered them. They were covered with the blood. Oh, yeah, he sprinkled that blood on him. He had to. He had to. He had to. But listen. Hophni and Phineas were still sprinkling blood. <laughs> they were still doing the service. Their consciousness wasn't changed. They were still doing the services. Their consciousness wasn't changed. See, my consciousness has changed. I ain't trying to go out there and do nothing. I don't want to do nothing. I don't, uh -uh. I ain't trying to get killed. I, look, you you will strike me dead. Uh, no, you should. No, 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 no. I ain't trying to do that. No, I ain't trying to do that. No, 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 no. I ain't trying to do it. No, no. He says, for the law having a shadow of things to come, and not the very image of the thing, because it was it was the image. The image of it is in in the Shamaim, the tabernacle. Right, right. I mean, the images of the, of the sanctuary, of the services, of the high priest, right? 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 Those things could never, with those sacrifices which they offered year by year, continually make the comer there too perfect. See, I'm perfect because he says I'm perfect, right? I, I, I'm perfect in the fact that I've received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, the water, the blood, and the the Ruach Kakadesh, and in that sense, He has made me perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshippers once purged should have no consciousness of sin. See, you should purge my sin. See, the priest could never purge your sin. They could only just sprinkle blood and water. Water. Excuse me. Ooh, sprinkle water and blood. That's all they could do. And it will cover your flesh. Man, you do nothing for your consciousness. 
So we use eliminated the consciousness, said. Listen, if you if you if you were still walking around in your consciousness of sin, you who and you who and you ain't in you. Because they ain't coming in the temple that is not pure or purged. You who and you ain't living in a temple that's unclean. So in your temple, you say you're the ruler of God and death, but you lust and masturbate, right? No, you who ain't in you. You who ain't in you. You running out and robbing people, stealing, still doing stuff that you know you ain't supposed to. No, you who ain't in you. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. You know, you need to be born again. I question whether or not you was ever really born again. No, you weren't born again. Not really. See, see, some of y'all, you, 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 you need to understand this order. This is a new order. This ain't that same old order. This ain't that same old order. This is not that same old Levitical priesthood order where they sprinkle something on you and they got to do it every year. Because, you know, once they sprinkle it on you and you need an offer sacrifice, you're going to go and... You still got that consciousness of sin. It's just like the Catholic Church. You go in there, you sit in that little box with that little man in there, and he asks you and say, uh, "Listen, uh, uh, my son, uh, what's, your, what's your confession?" And you go to confessing your stuff, and he'll tell you to tell a few hail marys and uh, whatever else he tell you to do, and you know he tell you to you know go and. And, you know, he's going to be waiting for you for your next confession. Because you still have a consciousness of sin. You still have a consciousness of sin. You're going to do it again. You're going to do it again. You're going to do it again. That's what I'm telling you. If, if you have a problem with sex, sex sins, listen, you ain't born again. You, you ain't born again. If you have a problem, you definitely ain't born again if you got that. Because, you know, Yahuwah won't be joined with a harlot. No, 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 you can't join Yahuwah with a harlot. And a harlot or a whoremonger, it don't matter. A woman is a, I mean, harlot, man's a whoremonger. They're both the same. He says, for, for then would they have not have ceased to be offered because they would be purged. But, if they continue to be purged, then, or they continue to have these sacrifices, it's because their consciousness is still the same. Bro, you got to consider Yahushua Mashiach. He says, but in those sacrifices, but in those, a remembrance of sin, a remembrance again of sin every year. For it's not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sin. It's not possible. It can cover you. Sprinkle it over you. It does nothing to the consciousness of sin. Yehusha Hamashiach's witness and witness alone. And that's receiving it in Imunah. You have to receive it in Imunah. You have to receive the witness of Yehusha Hamashiach in Imunah. You have to receive it in Imunah. You have to release your faith in Yehusha Mashiach. It's Imunah, right? It's not possible for it to take away sins. He says, wherefore, when he cometh unto the world, he says, sacrifices and offering thou wouldest not, but, I, but a body has thou prepared for me. You don't want these sacrifices. You don't want goats and bulls. Right? Yahuwah, you need me to go in and die in their place. And that's going to satisfy the whole need of, con that's going to satisfy, it's going to eradicate consciousness. Okay? He says, for lo, I come in the volume of the book and it is written of me to do thy will, O Yahuwah. So, so listen, so listen, so listen, so listen. Psalm, Psalms 40, Psalms 40, right? And six, 
sacrifices and offering thou did not desire. For it's not possible for the blood of goats and bulls to take away sin, to purge sin. It's not possible, right? He says, sacrifices and offering thou didst not desire. And my ears hast thou opened burnt offerings and sin offerings have thou not required from Yahushua, right? Burnt offering and sin offerings have thou, has thou not required, right? In me, he says, Yahushua, then I said, lo, I come in the volume of the book, for it is written of me, I delight to do thy will, O Alua, yea, thy law is within my heart. That's Yahushua. That's Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, these burnt offerings and these sin offerings, Yahushua, in Yahushua, he ain't requiring them. Because Yahushua come in the volume of the book. Sacrifices and offering didst not desire. Thou didst not thy sacrifices and offering thou didst not desire. Was what you desired. And my ears hast thou opened. Yahushua saying, Yahuwah, I heard you. You said you don't desire the, you don't desire uh, the blood of goats and, 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 and bulls. I hear you, Abba, right? Burnt offering and sin offerings have thou not required, right? You have not required them because you know why? I come in the volume of the book. Because once once you've established this Melchizedek order, you ain't gonna require them no more. You ain't gonna require them no more. Listen, I'm bru you better get a bruised clue. You better get a bruised clue. You better get a bruised clue. You better get a blues clue. Blues clue. Blues clue. Blues clue. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O Olua. He, ha he taketh away the first Aaron that he may establish. He's taken away the first M Moshe and Aaron priesthood ordinances, carnal ordinances. That he may establish the second, one time, Shamaim, one high priest, satisfying everything in Yahushua Mashiach, who was the Lamb that was perfect, that took away the sins of the world. Listen, man of Yah, listen, listen. This this renewed covenant is essential, right? And in order to get to this place, you have to receive it, and he will not. You have to walk in this in Imuna. Right? For ye have need of patience that after having done the will of the Lua, you might receive the promise. So while you wait, you have to wait patiently. And you have to wait in discipline. Not slothful but disciplined in your spiritual walk, meditating on the Basur and the Torah of truth, right? Right, praying in the Ruach, praying with your understanding, singing in the Ruach, singing with your understanding, making a joyful noise unto Yahuwah, being led by the Ruach HaKadosh every day, asking the Ruach HaKadosh to lead you in every decision. You have to do it for yet a little while and he shall come 
to gather those who are established in this new covenant and this renewed witness, this renewed covenant established in Yahushua Hamashiach's witness and will not tarry. Now the just, those who have passed, those who <laughs> have received justice, those who live just as if they have not sinned. <laughs> Those who have been justified shall live by Emuna. See, this is this is this is Emuna having received the Ruach Akadesh. This is Emuna. Having received the water, the blood, and the Ruach Kakadesh. This is Emuna, right? This is Emuna. This is Emuna. Listen, listen, listen. This is Emuna. This is Emuna. This is Emuna. This is what Yahuwah says. Um, having, what is what that's in? Let me, let me pull it up real quick. Ephesians. Ephesians 1. He says, this 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 is Emuna right here. This is it. He says, in, Hebrew, in Ephesians 1 and 13, he says, and whom ye also trusted. Emuna. After you heard the word of truth, you received the witness of the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh the good news of your Yeshua. The good news is that Yahuwah has provided a way to return. That's news. That's good news. Because, you know, you've been without a priest. You've been without a tabernacle. You've been without a sacrifice. But you got good news now. Yahushua has satisfied that. Right? Right? In whom also that after you received the witness of the water and the blood and received the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh, you were sealed. Yahuwah put a seal on you. He made you identifiable in the Shamaim so much so that when his judgment comes to the earth, you will be protected because you have his seal. <laughs> you have Ruach HaKadosh Right, which is to guarantee the down payment to the promise of Shiloh, the kingdom to come. See, this is Imuna. Listen, I got faith in this. <laughs> you will do whatever it takes because I bear his seal. There's nothing that you won't do to deliver me. There was no, there's nothing that you would that won't do to gather me, right? Because I've released my Imunah in it. And see, this is the earnest of my inheritance. He's giving me a down payment, right? He said, listen, this, this is, this is, this is so that you know that you have a guarantee to the end. You got, now you got to walk in it. You got to walk it out. He ain't going to give it to you and then you walk away from it and he going to, he going to still he gonna still honor the guarantee. No, 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 no. He warranted you with the Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> yeah, but you can't nullify the warranty. <laughs> can't nullify the warranty, right? You can't, 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 can't nullify the warranty, right? Because he guarantees the warranty. He guarantees you in the, in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. He guarantees you in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. He guarantees the warranty. Right? Which is the earnestness of our inheritance unto the redemption and to the gathering. 
to the gathering of us who is his purchased possession. <laughs> we who have trusted, we who have received the witness, who believed and who have been sealed with the Ruach HaKadosh, with the earnest of the inheritance, who have the guarantee. And it's all to the praise of his glory. Listen, this is why I have Imuna. This is why I have Imuna. This is why I do this all the time. This is why I'm driven to give this word to you. And you know what? Yahuwah has me in Hebrews. And for at least a week and a half, I can barely get out of the 10th chapter because Yahuwah is trying to get you to see the necessity of the witness. I understand. I'm grateful to the Ruach HaKadosh because I understand. Right? It's like plain as the nose on my face. Because because for that Alua, verse 17 of that first chapter of our Adonai Yehusha Hamashiach, the Father of Glory, has given me the Ruach of Wisdom in revelation, in the knowledge of him. I have the Ruach of Yahuwah. I have the Ruach of wisdom, the Ruach of understanding, the Ruach of counsel, the Ruach of might, the Ruach of knowledge and the fear of Yahuwah. I have it. I have received the sevenfold doctrine of creation because I've received the witness of Yusha Mashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm established in this kingdom. My consciousness has been purged. I have signs following me in the Ruach HaKadosh. I don't stagger at you who's promises. I believe his word. I just believe in the absolute truth of the Torah. I believe his word. Just believe his word. I've always believed his word. And I've always kept his word in front of me. It's my, my job, bro. Seeing greatness of his power to us who believe. The ex what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought when he raised Hamashiach from the dead and sat him at his own right hand in the Shammai. Listen, bro. Hebrews 6 and 4, for it, for impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and made partakers of the Ruach HaKadosh and have tasted of the good word of the power of Alu. The world to come, the power of the world to come. Right? He says in Ephesians 1 and 19, and what the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according. Listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro, listen. 
you got to accept this New Testament. You have to receive this New Testament. You have to accept this New Testament. You have to accept this renewed covenant. 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 You have to accept Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You have to accept Acts and Romans, Corinthians. 1 and 2, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. You have to receive Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians. You've got to receive Peter, 1st and 2nd. You have to receive James. You have to receive Yohukanan, 1, 2, and 3. You have to, you have to receive Jude. You have to receive revelations you have to receive everything that is recorded in this renewed covenant this renewed testament in order to be established in the kingdom of you because there's no other way to turn and the devil don't want you to receive this new covenant see and and and, and not like not like not like the christian church is taking it because it means something totally different to us who believe. It operates in us in the way that it's supposed to. It's not that Christian thing. It's in us. And it demonstrates itself through us. This Ruach HaKadosh. Right? It does. Right? It's going to operate in the gifts that Yahuwah has established in you. It's going to demonstrate itself in power in everybody who receives it. The signs are going to follow everybody who receives the witness of Yusha Mashiach. Man of Yahuwah, listen. I have every intention in getting past the first 10 chapters, but not today. Who knows? Maybe not tomorrow. But I'm going to pound this in. I'm going to pound this in. I'm going to pound this in. And for those who, who hear it and think it's redundant, it's okay. You know, but for those who have an ear to hear, faith comes by hearing. Not having heard. Faith comes by hearing perpetually, continually. You need to hear a thing continually in order to be established in it. You who I pray and I thank you right now that the words that you have given me, I have given them. I pray that they would keep it. They would they would they would walk in, in it. They will release their emuna in it, and that you would continue to build upon them in this kingdom. That they would follow me through faith and patience who have inherited the promise, that they would follow others who through faith and patience have inherited the promise. Yahuwah, I have the promise. And I have received it in Emu now, and I give you praise. Yahuwah, I pray that all that which is causing them not to receive this witness, that it would fall. All the distractions, all the limitations would be removed. Everything in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that would represent a hindrance would be removed. And in that I give you praise. Yahuwah, I praise you. I exalt you and I magnify your great name for you are worthy to be praised. I thank you for Yahushua Hamashiach who is that high priest after the order of Melchizedek. That Yahushua is, 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 is the, the scepter that shall not depart from Yahudah. He is that lawgiver from between his feet until, until Shiloh comes, to rest comes, to peace comes, until your kingdom comes on the earth. Yahweh, I give you praise. Yahweh, I let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Today, Yahuwah has favored you. Again, I make no, I make no apologies for the continued. <laughs> the continued Delivering of the word of Yahuwah that may come redundantly. 
Mm-hmm. I don't apologize for it because you will do what you would tell me to do. And I don't do no more. Yeah. So with that, I say, man of y'all, one of y'all, listen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Be blessed. You who have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, walk in it. Walk in the power of the Ruach HaKadosh in the blood and in the water, knowing that your conscience has been purged, that you are witnesses of Yahushua Hamashiach, and if you have received this Ruach HaKadosh, you have power. You have signs following. So go forth in that in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. And with that, I say shalom, shalom, shalom. Be blessed. <laughs> Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth, Torah Nation.